Hello people, welcome to my latest video. On this video, it's another entry in my should be in the Hall of Fame series. And this fighter we are looking at today, who in my mind is an outrage, he's not in the Hall of Fame, is former bantamweight champion, Lou Salica. Okay, so we shall take a look at Lou Salica now, and I will explain and show with his resume, um, etc., why he should be in the Hall of Fame. So looking at Lou Salica, Okay, Lou Salica has been a world bantamweight champion. Um, Lou Salica has had 20 fights against world champions in his career. Um, and Lou Salica has beaten three um, individual Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in terms of world title fights, Lou Salica comes in with a total of 11 world title fights. And against top 10 rated fighters, okay, Lou Salica had near a half century, which you know, in today's standards, is an enormous number. Not even Roy Jones, Pacquiao or Hopkins have hit that amount. Um, so it kind of shows exactly how much rated opposition Lou Salica fought. Lou Salica was also top 10 rated for an entire decade um, during his career. Now, when we look at his resume, his resume is very, very strong indeed. Um, Lou Salica scored wins over Young Tommy, Indian Quintana, okay, um, the Hall of Famer Midget Walgast, um, Speedy Dado, okay, he beat former world champion Sixto Escobar, he also beat Small Montana, he also beat contenders like Bobby Levas, um, Philo Echevarria, um, he also beat the excellent Pablo Dano, former champion Richard Lemos, Little Pancho, Jackie Jurich, the great Bantamweight King Man uh, Manuel Ortiz, he also beat good fighter Tony Oliveira and Tom me fought. Now, when we look at who he lost to, okay, he also lost to Midget Walgast, who he'd also beaten. He also lost to Speedy Dado, who he'd beaten, and the same with Sixto Escobar. He also lost, okay, to Tony Marino, um, another former Bantamweight champion. He also lost to Little Dado. Now, he did also lose to Tony Oliveira and Tommy Fort. He also lost um, to the good fighter Rush Dalma. He also lost to the Hawaiian Punch, okay. The Clouting Celestial, uh, is it Clouting Celestial, David Kui Kong Young. He also lost to the great Bantamweight King Manuel Ortiz and also lost to former world champion Harry Jeffra. And when we look at his draws, okay, um, Lou Salica drew with Midget Walgast, Bobby Levas and Little Dado. So there on his resume, you may not be as familiar with all those names, but fighters like Indian Quintana, um, Bobby Levas, um, Philo Echevarrio, um, etc, etc, Tony Oliveira, Tommy Fort, we're all excellent contenders. When we look at some of the other fighters now, I will be doing a top 10 Filipino fighters of all time. Names like Speedy Dado, Small Montana, Pablo Dano, okay, Little Pancho. These are all great little Filipino fighters from around those weights who get very little credibility, you know, nowadays. But uh, the Philippines had a whole host of fantastic little fighters. I've, I've covered many of them um, on blue screen videos um, on the various playlists, especially Featherweight Down. You'll find some fantastic Filipino fighters and also he's lost to fighters he hasn't won okay like Tony Marino, um, Harry Jeffra, um, David Kuikon Young another fantastic low weight fighter from the Hawaiian Islands if I recall so all together okay Lou Salica is an experienced world champion with nearly a dozen world title fights he's also had nearly a half century of fights against top 10 rated fighters he's been a decade long top 10 rated fighter and he has a fantastic resume, okay? He's beaten many top-level fighters, a number of world champions, Hall of Famers, you name it. And his career is very tough, and I always found it, you know, a little bit strange why someone like this is not in the Hall of Fame. Um, but then you get a Carlos Zerati, who was a big puncher. But when you compare resume um, between Carlos Zerati and Lou Salica, Carlos Zerati is really found wanting, um, in all honesty. You know, and this is why fighters like Lou Salica should be left out. Now, whether Lou Salica will get in my Hall of Fame um, will be unveiled in the passage of time. I've finished going through the established Hall of Fame for all the entries into my Hall of Fame and the all-time great list there. So now I'm outside the Hall of Fame going through my vast database of fighters, selecting the various fighters who qualify for Hall of Fame and being an all-time great. So that work will continue. And if Lou Salica joins my Hall of Fame, um, that will be unveiled in the future. But to me, fighters like Lou Salica, Seferino Garcia, 
Lou Borgash. Many of these fighters are glaringly omitted from the IBHOF, um, when in reality, many of fighters in there, like Barry McGuigan, Ray Mancini, Vitaly Klitschko, have done nothing better than these men, and yet these men are left out. Now, last year, of course, we had Todd Morgan added, um, former super featherweight champion, long reigning super featherweight champion. But there's still time, of course, for fighters like Salica, etc., to be added. So I'm quite sure you'll agree that with some of his stats, um, with his all time great placing in my top thousand, and with this fantastic resume, and there are more names, you know, every time I do one of these videos like this, I put a selection of names on. I could put more rated fighters on. You know, he had nearly a half century of fight skins, top 10 rated fighters. So imagine if I listed every name in the one category who was a top 10 rated fighter, suddenly you'd have half a slide full of just wins okay names beaten so Lou Salica is my latest entry on my should be in the Hall of Fame series I've got a number more of these videos ready with a number of um, to me gla glaring emissions um, from the Hall of Fame more videos will be released in the future I'm not building any of playlists up too fast because there's so many playlists I'm working on one gets a video, then another, then another, then another. But they will fill up over time. By summer, each playlist should have a nice number of videos on. So there's my latest entry. Should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, the great Bantamweight fighter, Lou Salica. I'm the Boxing Librarian. I'm out for now.